Hello there, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, so I've just uploaded this uh, video here of uh, how I made these assets. Uh, so this is like an explanation of how I made, of the different techniques I use to uh, model these elements. Uh, I want to do it in this format. Uh, sometimes I will do an entire video uh, explaining step by step, but uh, because most of the times uh, you're going to only explain some one thing that is new that you have never explained before and everything is going to be repeated over and over i don't and i don't want to really to really uh, repeat myself too much and uh, a step by step videos uh kind of prolong uh the length of the video something that would be about 15 minutes can go on to be about an hour and uh, I, I understand a lot of you do have a lot of things to to work on uh, that uh, you may not have that time and uh, plus uh, I've made a lot of explanation videos, uh, very small videos that uh, if anyone uh, wants to to see what I've done that uh, they they are not familiar with, they can just go and watch uh, that only five second, a five sec a five minute video of that instead of just uh, watching a two hour video, hoping that uh, I will get to what uh, they want to learn, and that's why I'm trying to make these a bit shorter. So also another re reason why I'm making this. Uh, I tried enabling, uh, sorry, installing the screencast keys in Blender 2.8, but for some reason I'm failing to do that. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, it's still not supported uh, very very well. Uh, I went to the plugin page uh, where where to download that, and uh, it seems to be have they they, they might have updated it, but uh, it's still not working in uh, my version here. And I also tried to install an OBS add-on, but I still I couldn't get it to work. Uh, so I, let me just explain some of the basic concepts that uh, that you may find uh, diff that might work different in this version of Blender that I uh, don't. So mostly, may, when I was modeling these things, I used uh, curves only. Uh, you can see the entire, all the chairs are made out of curves, and uh, this is not a single object. These are just linked. So, so instead of using Shift D to duplicate. Uh, this as asset, I just use Alt D to make a linked copy of this so that any changes I make to this, uh, like this, you can see they're updated on every asset there. But uh, because I used Shift D to duplicate this, uh, those uh, changes are not applied to this. Yeah, so that is one thing you can uh, take from that. So, um, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So let's add a curve. And I show you what I want to add. So you can see this curve. If you add a curve uh, by default, it will just be a line like that. And uh, if you go to render, you won't uh, see that line. If you turn off the overlays, you won't be able to see it because uh, Blender doesn't render just a single edge of vertex in uh, render mode. Uh, but uh, so to make that visible, uh, to give it this volume or thickness, uh, you just need to go and um, uh, the curves. I've already made a tutorial about this, but uh, I guess I'll just repeat it for you in case you didn't watch that. I uh, just go under the curves, uh, the curve tab, and then under geometry, you see bevel, you can increase the depth. Uh, but you see now uh, it's only one sided. And uh, just to show you that it's really one sided, maybe uh, you can increase the, uh, the resolution because right now you see it's, it's very. There is not a lot of resolution, it's a lot of jagged edges, so you can uh, increase the resolution here to make it more circular as that. But I see it's only one sided, uh, it's known, it's just uh, the the radius or the curvature of the curve is a, is a semi semi circle, not a full circle. So to do that, uh, to make a complete circle, you need to go up uh, in the shape options under 3D and then change the fill mode from half to full. Uh, you can also change it from half to front to give uh, a quarter a circle. I don't know how if it's called that back. Uh, what we want to set is the full um, fill mode. And then you will have uh, that. So another thing that you see is that uh, this is a single curve object, but uh, every curve spline or spline here has a different radius. You can see these lines here have a different radius uh, from uh, this circle here, this ring here, and uh, this other uh, spline.
sign here. Uh, the way to to scale down uh, the the radius here, you can you can either use the bevel, uh, sorry, the bevel depth. Uh, this will increase the entire mesh. So let me just first uh, duplicate this. Shift D, extrude, and I'll duplicate these assets a few times so that you can see what I'm doing. So if you use this bevel depth, it will just increase the entire uh, volume of the of the curves. But uh, if you can come in and select, a, say, a spline like this, and use the shortcut, the shortcut Alt S, and then you can scale only that uh, spline you have selected. Or you can also just select a vertex like this, and then scale that point. You can also do it on this curve, scale that point like that. Alt S to scale that point, or you can select the entire ring. Uh, control, uh, use just select one vertex like that and hit L to select all the connected vertices and uh, use Alt S to scale up uh, those that element. I don't know if there is an option here uh, to do that, but um, I'm only I, I can only remember uh, the shortcuts. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's how I got uh, to make uh, these lines smaller than this ring and uh, this ring to be smaller than this so but uh, if you use this bevel it will just increase the entire volume of all the as the elements in that curve uh, so another thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, you, you will see that uh, to create when I was creating this sh this shape here I started with a with a mesh so let me add a mesh Where is that Started with a mesh like this, and um, created the shape that I wanted. I just made this um, because I only wanted the profile of that. Um, let me make sure this is recording. Ah, uh, because I only wanted the profile of that uh, a ring. I deleted all the edges inside. So that I only remain with uh, uh, that outline there, and then converted it into a mesh. So to do that, you just go under Object, Convert to Mesh, Curve to Mesh, and now now you, you should see that. Uh, let me. I don't think I, I was able to convert it. So Object, Convert, um, Mesh, from, and no Curve from Mesh. And you'll see that uh, the options here, let me undo. You can see right now we, sh we are seeing uh, the, the settings for a, for, an, for a mesh. Now, if we convert this to, to a curve, curve from mesh, you see now we are getting properties for the curve. And uh, if you go to edit mode, uh, you see that uh, these are very uh, rough, uh, sharp corners. But uh, when you create a, a, a curve by default, you see you will have a Bezier uh, type of curve. Uh, this one is a polygon type of curve. So the way you convert this into a Bezier uh, curve, curve spline, I just go go to edit mode and then, I'm not sure what the shortcut is. They changed it so I, ca I can't, uh, the shortcut for Blender 2.79 doesn't work anymore. So you need to go to edit mode and then just set uh, the option. So F3, and then set, set the option, set, a spline type and uh, it will give you the different types of splines we have polygon we have which is the current uh, type here let me search again again to start to bring up the the search context you just hit f3 f3 uh, because it has been switched from space to space now is just a play button uh, so f f3 to bring up that and then a search for set spline to type S set spline type and then change it to bezier so you can see nothing has changed now uh, has changed uh, because even though we have changed the, uh, the the curve to to Bezier I uh, will still it's still in the Bezier format of uh, polygon so you need to click V uh, to change sorry it's, it's, it's in the uh, handle type of vector so you need to change it to any other 
type here so you can change it to automatic let me make sure that uh, this has changed actually so set line uh, the place here yeah so it's the same vector so you just need to hit v on your keyboard or go, go under curve control points uh, set handle type and then automatic to give you those uh, curved uh, edges or go to curve a uh, control points handle type aligned so you can play around with the different settings or you just go to or you just hit v and uh, find uh, the different settings here then if you want to give it uh, that volume or thickness you just go under de depth and uh, give it the depth you want and make sure to go also and change the fill mode from half to full to half to that if you want to scale it down you can either use uh, the depth here to control uh, the size or just use alt s to control it directly like that see what else what else I think everything else I'll, uh, I have explained before and uh, it's pretty basic yeah thank you